Hi everyone, and welcome back to Beacon Pines. So in the first episode, we got to meet our main characters, Luca and Rolo, and we are definitely up to some trouble. We have decided that it's a good idea to go and check out, investigate an abandoned fertilizer warehouse. Um, because that can only end well. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. Last Chance Diner. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Ch-ch-ch-changes. Hmm. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. <laughs> Sounds like me. The two wander down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good. Mm, is that for- that's foreboding. That's ominous. Foreshadow. Hey, Miss Nelson! Morning, Luca. Any big summer? Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. Ha! Yeah, right. Safe. I'm a kid. I'm gonna get in all kinds of trouble. Um, Piper. Oh, hey, Luca. What's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course. And it's like the morning? Correct. And you're studying? Like they say, the early bird gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Mm-hmm. Well... We found the Hermione Granger of this game. Hey, Zariel. Hiya, Luca. Could you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi, Zariel would like you... Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting the kid up for success. I mean, she's not wrong exactly. Maybe the way she's putting it is mm, probably not best to be to tell to a kid, but Luca, just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right, rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. No oh boy. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well... Not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? <laughs> His grin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kids. Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. 
So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rollo. Mm? Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What? You're not scared, are you? What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? <laughs> well, I guess we're in trouble. Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with a Hank Atomic's shrink array. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Ooh. Scary big sister. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. <laughs> Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... Well, chill's all we got. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer, the sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. I like that kid procrastinating. That's me. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! Investigate the Valentine warehouse alone. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. So you just hitting on her? <laughs> Did I just get shut down by the little chipmunk girl or squirrel girl of my dreams? Oh. Hey, Dawn. Sorry to wake ya. Yeah. Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> what? So cute. No problem. It just come. It comes with a job. Dawn had dreams of becoming a big time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. What's up? Rolo said he saw something strange going on at that warehouse. You know anything about that? Hmm. You might say I've heard some things. I'm working on a story about it right now. So what's going on? Can't say quite yet. I still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Things seem to be quiet in the town today. Yep, everyone is preparing for the festival. Should be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then? Catch you then. Oh, and Luca? I'm really sorry I haven't been able to find out anything about your mom yet. I'm just grateful that you tried. I'm still keeping my ears up. Oh, I don't know, Luca. She's she's way cuter than that squirrel girl. Hmm. 
Guess Mrs. Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. This is just a dead end over here. Okay. Anything over here? No, I can't even go over there. Do 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 Buds and bulbs. Ooh, pastries. Can I have some? No. Oh, I think I remember hitting this. Got me something. Smack. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'm done. I mean, it's really, it's more fun than you would think it would be. Hey, Griffin! How's the ice cream gig going? Not great. It's still pretty cold out. And I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand? He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha. The festival. Everyone's preparing for the festival. Hey, Bert. Hey, Luca. I'm doing some fact-checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. But, did you know, when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens? And they all worked for a mining company? And there was only one dirt road leading to town? And there still is only one road leading to town. Oh, right. Okay. Hey, girlfriend. Uh, Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Oh, he was a dapper fellow. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. Sharper a Valentine. A bit much, if you ask me. <laughs> Indulgent. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit chat. What? Rude. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. I'll check back later. Oh, really? I want to go in the library. Let me in. Open up. Open up. I'm that customer. Hey. Hey, are you open? Are you open? Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncrete. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Is that a euphemism? Uh-huh. Well, don't like... Don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Ugh. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. <laughs> You're so creepy. I hate you. <laughs> Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth, you. I hate you. I hate you. You are gross and creepy, and I hope Gran never dances with you. The phone booth was brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. You're cute. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into Weep Wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. So, this, this just reminds me of a stupid, really stupid story real quick. When I was in high school, I had this friend that 
um he came over we walked home okay i said story real quick i am terrible at telling stories by the way i suck so let's try this again so i lived pretty close to my high school and one day i had one of my friends come over so he and i were walking to my house and he noticed that i was looking at the ground as i walked because i don't like stepping on bugs I'm always like looking for ants or anything else that might like be crossing a sidewalk or whatever because I don't want to step on them. And I told him that when he asked me why I was watching the ground, I said I didn't want to kill any bugs. And then he goes, yeah, but just think of all the bugs that you're smacking with your face because you're not paying any attention. And I was... I mean, that's the story. It's a stupid story, but it just, like, it did make me think, and it did make me feel a little bit guilty, because I'm like, okay, so I'm not thinking about the flying bugs. I'm just thinking about the grounded ones. So, to all the flies and gnats, I apologize. I have killed many of your kin unintentionally. Oh, there's some over here. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Hmm, that's strange. Ooh, this is kind of like gothic mansion. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Hmm. The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. bet it's haunted. Or no, do people still live in here? <laughs> the path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Why though? We could turn back. Caution, electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolo would do. So that he could rule out that option. <laughs> I'm definitely not touching that thing. Good call, bud. Good call. That is a good call. Okay, I think the last time... Yeah. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Okay. Eh. Is that a good thing to throw at an electric fence? What is this? I, I better just use berries. I don't know. I... Okay. That's One two. To go. Da, 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 da. Bam. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. No, it's definitely haunted. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. I don't want to find out. I... No, I did this last time. The water looked almost diseased. Diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Mm-hmm. Ugh. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Okay, so those of you who didn't watch part one or don't remember this, I played through this scene. So I know what is coming, and I don't like it. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. 
He'd have no problem poking around in there. We can always leave. We can leave, right? We can go home. Let's go home to Grand. She told us not to get in trouble. Let's just go. We can just go. Oh, what's down here? Oh, look at this stump. This is cool. Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. Looks old. Okay. Well, well, I saw the stump. I can go home now. Yep. Yep, let's just go on home. Okay, okay. Look, let's not prolong this. I'm a brave girl. I can do this. Investigate the Valentine warehouse alone. Okay, well, we did it. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. Mm. Hello? Duh! Shit. And I got some shit. I got a shit charm. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in yeah. the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. <sighs> This is a story about, and I only have this one, change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. Mm. What the news guy told us. The end? Ugh. I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy, but don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Different is good. All right. So, I gotta go back to when life was happy. Yeah, so the first time I played, that's where I've played up to. And I wasn't expect. I thought this was just like a cozy, sweet little game and... I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't pick up on kind of the creepy vibes that are on the front, like the front artwork, the cover art. Um, didn't pick up on it. So when that happened, wasn't expecting that at all. All right. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... We're going to be a little shit. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> oh, he's just kicker. <laughs> Luca's so cute, but he's kind of a brat. Make a break for it. What have you done? Ah! Did that little shit just kick me? I like Roxy. She's so cool. Run all you want, you little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. Oh. Sorry. Investigate the Valentine warehouse with Rolo. Okay. So things should go better. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing.
to talk to you. Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited sometimes. Solomon Valentine. Solomon Valentine. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune. Huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? No. That is truly a shame. Shame. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Hmm. Who are you? Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Hmm. Speak of the devil. It's your mom. <laughs> Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, Eris. I was just taking a stroll through town. Is it as well? Strolls are for commoners. You're a valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Uh, do I gotta talk to you again? Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Does he say the same thing? Oh, he just runs. He just automatically ran. I didn't even make him run. <laughs> he was just like, nope, nope, get away from this creepy guy. Boy's got too much of his father in him. You are so weird. I do not like him. I don't, I don't like him. I win! Little help. I am the champion! We were racing? Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Oh! He actually just ran into the fence! Why did you do that? Yeah. Pa always said you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. I... <laughs> Great, what now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. Rolo, you're so dumb. I love you so much, but huh. from a safe distance. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Do I just do what I did last time? Whoa, you're a genius. Yeah, well... You know. 
Yeah, no. Oh, I still gotta do the other one. Oh. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. Oh, great. We're As back the here again. windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. It should go better this time, though, because I have my buddy with me, so hopefully I don't get dragged into the building again and have horrible things probably done to me. Check it out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This, this is bizarre. This is awesome. <laughs> Rumble. Oh, what was that? Did you feel that? What? The excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. I can't, Child! Why are you sticking your feet in that? Check out this puddle. That's not normal. Oh, he's just running around in it. And this hose. Aw, oh, man, the door's locked. Try harder. No, get away from that door. Get away from that door. No dice. It won't budge. Oh, well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rolo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. <laughs> Investigate with Rolo. Come on, Lady Luck. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Walkie-talkie is nice. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic. Ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um... How are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. Oh my gosh, what? What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Oh no. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Ugh. Why? Are you an animal too? You're just a creepy dude in a hazmat suit. I don't like it. What did you put in there? What are you doing? Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh. My. God. Is that a body? Did she just put a body in the trash? Under the weight of the bag. Uh, Luca, do you know what separates one of the mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Rolo felt around at the large sack which oh, burdened them. Stop. Aha! He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Rolo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. 
It's a name tag. <laughs> Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? <laughs> oh, Rolo, you're dumb dumb. I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking! You're panicking! <laughs> Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh no. I am beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, dark, children. Tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo? No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Oh my gosh! Okay. So. Looking at the positive, we aren't dead. Luca's not dead this time. Negative? Um, this abandoned warehouse is not so abandoned, and there's someone working in there and possibly doing some weird experiments on, on people that live in the town, maybe? Because there was a body that he just threw in a dumpster. So, okay, yes. Yes, this is very, very cozy. Cozy game. Cozy gaming. This is a cozy gaming channel. It is. No, um, <laughs> I'm. I'm really enjoying. No, I am actually really loving this. I love this. I love everything about this game so far. I uh, was not expecting to be like as terrified as I have been playing it, uh, but it's so much fun. And even though it is creeping me out, it still has a definite cozy vibe because it's like this small town and you have this relaxing music in the background. Again, the art style is so nice. Like, I'm scared, but I'm relaxed, if that makes any sense. I don't know how you're, you are all are feeling. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying this and you're still entertained enough to join me for another ep episode another time. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here uh, before we dive into chapter three. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments, have you played this game? 
Have you played this game? Um, if you have, what'd you think of it? And, uh, and, or also, and, or, uh, let me know if there are other games that you know of that kind of fall into this category, category, category of cozy, but also creepy. Because I didn't expect to, I'm kind of surprised that I'm playing this and I, like I said, I feel relaxed and I still do do feel cozy despite the sinister nature of this story. Um, Yeah, so let me know, you know, other games that kind of have a similar vibe. I would love that. Uh, Subscribe if you would like to see more of my content in the future because there will definitely be more. And I will see you next time.